Hey, what's up again, YouTube? Uh, I tried to make a video without having my phone on its uh, charger cable. My battery's dead, so you know, you know. My birthday was on a Saturday, and uh, I didn't load myself up with tobacco like I did last year, but. I got a, I got 10 ounces, you know. I ordered um, ordered eight ounces of Hearth and Home Steamroller and um, I mean four four ounces of Hearth and Home Home Steamroller and uh, eight ounces of why do we keep saying eight? Four ounces of uh. McClellan's uh, number 2020 matured cake, which is what I'm smoking right now. So I'm probably gonna leave it dry for a for a bit, just since it's been such a bitch to keep lit. And then the other two ounces of tobacco I got from my local tobacconist. It's a aromatic blend called the. Uh, Heather, which is a nice, yummy butterscotch blend. Set the sucker down for a minute to see if I can't get this to light better. I always forget which pockets I put my lighters in. I'm using my, I'm using my little butane torch today because I don't feel like having flame blow on my face. So. I'm still working on these uh, His pipe tamper. I just, uh, last couple of months have been kind of funky with me, so, uh, I haven't really had the motivation to do much anything. But, uh, As far as this blend goes, it's a tastes very nice. It still has some of that vinegary smell to it that you get with a lot of McClellan Virginias, but it's not as overpowering. They uh, what the fuck kind of bug is that? Oh, it's a dragonfly. <laughs> But uh, the vinegar doesn't overpower. They have, it says Virginia, various Orientals, and a bit of Latakia in it, from what I remember. Which kind of, it kind of smooths out the peppery, the peppery vinegar tang of the aged Virginias. Which is good because the. Uh, the last uh, last two non aromatics from McClelland I didn't quite uh, I didn't quite uh, take a liking to as much as I thought I would the, the uh, Dominican Glory Maduro and the Rosa Latakia Rosa Latakia out of the the last two was probably the one that I would buy again but it's not on my Oh my god, I need to smoke this shit again list. Um, the tobacco that I did forget to review because I took my little uh, impromptu hiatus to Bullseye Flake from Peter Stockaby. That is definitely going on my to-buy list again. I won't buy as much of it because uh, even though I enjoy the hell out of the flavor, it kind of 
smoking it every day just doesn't uh, doesn't roll. I'll probably buy it and I'll probably buy a few ounces and age it when I have money again. Money's been my uh, money's been my big thing right now. I've been been working on music and trying to search for new jobs and you know gotta gotta get a handle on that. Got to get a handle on that before my wife sends me out to the doghouse. So uh, it's been kind of rough, but you know I'm I, I'm keeping my head up. You know, try getting back to making videos. I'll try. We're gonna go shopping after I get back inside, since we have a line of severe storms coming through in a few hours. We're under a tornado watch right now. And, uh, my favorite my other favorite kind of weather besides uh, blizzard conditions but uh hopefully in the next week next couple of days I'll have more videos I'll try to actually review the tobaccos that I have now um hopefully up hopefully upload uh, more little music Video, video things. It's usually just my artist logo with the music playing in the background, but you know, I'm uploading it for the music, not for uh, pretty pictures to look at. Though I should do that someday. I got a sh got a shit ton of nice pictures on my phone that I could use for that. But uh, it's getting about seven minutes long. I don't trust the battery. So uh, until next time, YouTube, take care and uh, keep your stick on the ice.